So how does the hen put all the different parts of the egg together in one nice, easy to use package? A hen is fed chicken feed, which is primarily corn, and she produces eggs for use, producing at most one egg per day. A really good egg layer can produce an egg a day almost every day for 10 to 12 months. That's a lot of eggs. This is a photo of the reproductive tract removed from a female chicken and laid out for you to see the parts. There are two main parts, the ovary and the oviduct. The ovary is where you find the yolks being developed. There are tiny cells with the genetic material of the female chicken and yolk material is transported from the liver to these cells. The yolk material is deposited in the cells, making them grow and become easily seen. Once the yolk has reached the right size, it is released from the ovary into the oviduct and the start of the assembly line for the creation of a complete egg. The release of a yolk is called ovulation. The yolk are released along the stigma or suture lines, which are the clear lines on the yolk with no blood vessels visible. Of course, only one yolk is supposed to be released at one time. If the hen releases two yolks, you end up with a double yolked egg. The following old video shows you the release of a yolk from the ovary in a live chicken. The pencil mark shows the stigma. The released yolk is picked up by the infundibulum. This part is also referred to as the funnel since it is the start of the oviduct, but it does not really function like a funnel waiting there for the yolk to be dropped. It is actually a muscle that moves over the yolk, bringing the yolk inside the oviduct. It is very difficult to film this in a chicken. The following dramatization shows how the infundibulum engulfs the yolk released from the ovary. If an egg is to be fertilized, it has to be done here in the infundibulum. The yolk remains here for only 15 minutes, so it's a short window of time available for fertilization. Once the albumin has been laid down over the yolk, it's too late for the sperm to fertilize the egg. The next part of the oviduct is the magnum. The yolk remains here for about three hours. This is where the albumin is added to the egg. As the yolk passes down the magnum, it rotates and strings of albumin are twisted tightly to form the chalaza that hold the yolk in the middle of the finished egg. The next part of the assembly line is the isthmus. This is where the shell membranes are added. There is an inner and outer shell membrane. The yolk remains here for about 75 minutes. The last major part is the shell gland, also called the uterus. The shell is added in the shell gland. This is where most of the time is spent in the assembly of an egg. It can take about 20 hours for the shell to be completed. If the shell is going to have a color, 
like you see with brown shelled eggs, the pigment is added here. There is no difference in the making of a brown shelled or a white shelled egg except for the addition of the pigment in the shell gland. So the assembly line for the creation of an egg includes the ovary where we find the yolk, the infundibulum where fertilization takes place, the magnum where the albumin and chalase are added, the isthmus where the shell membranes are added, and finally the shell gland where the shell is added. The last part of the hen's reproductive tract is the vagina. The vagina is a muscle which helps to push the egg out of the hen. The egg travels down the oviduct, small end first, but when it is ready to be laid, it rotates to large end first. This prevents the egg from coming into contact with fecal material as the egg is laid. The air space in the large end of the egg is formed after the egg has been laid. The body temperature of a chicken is 107 degrees Fahrenheit, and when the egg is laid, it immediately starts to cool. As the egg cools, the contents contract and the inner and outer shell membranes separate at the large end of the egg. The fresher an egg is, the smaller the air space is. As an egg gets older, the air space increases. And that's how the hen makes the incredible edible egg.